I now invite the present and vice chancellor, Dr. Professor Margaret Gardner, to present the second candidate for the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa. Deputy Chancellor, Mr. John McCall McBain has had a very extensive business career before he focused his attention on the establishment of the McCall McBain Foundation with his wife, Dr. Marcy McCall McBain. Mr. McCall McBain has qualifications in economics from McGill University, Master of Arts in Law as a Rhodes Scholar from Oxford University, and a Master in Business Administration from Harvard Business School. From 1987 to 2006, Mr. McCall McBain was the founder, president, and chief executive officer of Trader Classified Media, the world's leading classified advertising company. The company grew to over 350 print titles and 50 internet sites in more than 20 countries before he sold it in 2006. In partnership with his wife, Mr. McCall McBain now leads the McCall McBain Foundation and the foundation's investment vehicle, Pomoja Capital. Through Pomoja Capital, the foundation invests in long-term, socially responsible global investments across various sectors, um, various sectors of the economy. Mr. McCall McBain has been a very significant advisor to the Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences at Monash University for many years and has been, along with his wife, an energetic supporter and funder of the Inhaled Oxytocin Project, of which you have now a better understanding, I'm sure. Mr. McCall McBain is a trustee of the Rhodes Trust at Oxford, which oversees the Rhodes Scholarships worldwide and the Mandela Rhodes Foundation in Cape Town. He is also founder and chairman of the European Climate Foundation, a non-profit organisation established to promote climate and energy policies that greatly reduce Europe's greenhouse gas emissions and to help Europe play an even stronger international leadership role in mitigating climate change. Mr. McCall McBain is a member of the Yale Advisory Board of the Centre for Environmental Law and Policy, a Foundation Fellow of Wadham College, Oxford, and not surprisingly, a strong supporter through the Executive Committee of the McGill Campaign. Mr. McCall McBain is also an officer of the Order of Canada. Deputy Chancellor, it gives me the greatest pleasure to present to you for admission to the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa, John Howard McCall McBain. With the authority of counsel, I admit you, John Howard McCall McBain, to the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa. I now have much pleasure in inviting Dr. John McCall McBain to deliver the second graduation address. Good day. <laughs> Deputy Chancellor, Mr. Shane Bugel, President and Vice Chancellor, Professor Margaret Gardner, Dean of the World Rank Number Two, and top faculty of any faculty in Australia, faculty of pharmacy and pharmaceutical science professor, William Charman, Marion, Michelle, Marcy, other members of the faculty, ladies and gentlemen, and especially Monash as graduates of 2018, congratulations on your achievement. I thought today that I would briefly provide you as graduates with eight things to consider as you enter the next stage of your life. Luckily, I have the luxury of being the first person to give you advice, and you can't leave. 
My first piece of advice is there are not many powerful kings around the world anymore because they did not follow one of my first tenets of life. Try to have no pride and limit your ego to below your capabilities. I call this the king syndrome. It's hurt many a competent person as they're trying to progress in their life. Pride interferes with progress since people who behave like kings are very slow to adapt. Change and adaptation hurts their pride because then they have to admit that the old ways just aren't working. Ego ahead of capabilities leads to a false sense of security with your credibility being reserved, sorry, re reduced as others learn that you really do have no clothes. So pride and ego get in the way of many a successful person. Try to have no pride and limit your ego to below your capacities and you should do a lot better. Second, your career and indeed many of your life choices will be found at the intersection of three things. First, what you like to do. Second, what you're good at. And third, what does good for humanity, human progress and employment. Take your time on what you like to do because you know what? Everybody else will tell you what you're good at. Your grades, your employment, your job evaluation, you'll know what you're good at. Others will tell you that, but nobody will tell you what you like. So take time in your life to decide on what you like. Then decide on the role you want to play in life. Do you want to be an employee of a small firm? Do you want to be a partner, an equal partner, a majority partner, a sole entrepreneur? Do you want to be an employee in the nonprofit sector, corporate, government, healthcare? Third, this one I've learned time and time again. You never know when you've had a good day. Learn from your mistakes and remember that it may be thundering outside, but your future direction has very little relation to that actual bad day. Fourth, think. Learn to think from first principles. Many people get things wrong because they forgot where they really started. Fifth, happiness usually includes a sense of fulfillment. And today's an obvious day to note that. Everybody's very happy today because it's such a sense of fulfillment. So don't forget that in your life and you're seeking happiness in your life. And six, just because you're good at one thing, perhaps pharmacology, doesn't mean you're good at everything. You might only be good at one thing, but that's great and that's okay. And seventh, if you have a dream, live it. There's no sequel to your life. And last and eighth, Something I mention often is sometimes you just have to take a risk where you have a chance of a breakthrough or an equal or greater chance of being ridiculed. Take the risk. So in saying that, congratulations to the 2018 graduate class of Monash University, especially the pharmacy faculty and everyone here, and good luck and thank you.